Uh, Bob Wiseman performing and as well Farm Fresh. Um, visuals are being provided by uh, Carol Larson. She's up there in the back. And Gary Stokes is doing the sound. So without further ado, uh, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the Rio Static.
tell there was a close relationship between painting and music. Many, many artists, many artists that I knew, after they got the composition started, they liked to play good music, and it helped them very much in the, in the painting. Well, it's because the, the, the feeling is the, is, is, is the feeling, you see, and uh, listening to certain pieces often, often stimulated the painting to me. I shall never forget one time I was listening to some very beautiful organ music, Mrs. Cynthia Joyce. She was a superb organist, and uh, I was listening to this beautiful rendition. She was playing on the console organ, and uh, all at once, this picture began to form in my mind without any effort at all. And uh, I could hardly wait. I just had a studio in Toronto at the time. I could hardly wait until I got to the studio. I was at the number, I think, 27. Oh, it's that famous, it's that famous group of seven buildings where A.Y. Jackson was when he had T.H. McDonald and, uh, and, uh, and, uh,
worth of sun split clouds and done a hundred things you have not dreamed of wheeled and soared and swung by sunsplit clouds and done a hundred things I have not dreamed of.
lot. Well, we got our opening night jitters over last night, so we can start to try to break stuff tonight. <laughs> all Thanks for coming. Uh, we're the Rheostatics, mostly, uh, but just, just a part of this big thing. Um, we have an extended band, but uh, first, uh, we are a, a, a group from uh, Toronto, Tobacco, and uh, the National Gallery asked us to do this 40-minute uh, uh, musical piece surrounding the group of seven, 75th anniversary touring exhibit, Art for a Nation. And uh, um, Andrew, who uh, introduced us, uh, was telling me last night that Vancouver is just blowing away like Toronto and Ottawa for people coming to see it and stuff. And I guess there was like um, 4,000 people the first day went through the exhibit and 2,300 people in four hours uh, last Thursday. So. Uh, Looks pretty good on Vancouver, I'd say. And um, uh, so, but it's, so it's been great. Oh, give yourself a round of applause. As if it were a game show. Um, and it kind of is a really good one. Um, but uh, so, uh, introducing the band, that's what we'd like to do at this moment. It's the halfway point in the, uh, in the evening. Uh, my name is Dave Bedini. I play uh, black guitar and sit in the middle tonight. There it is. Martin was standing right there, but he's gone over there. You don't want to be introduced. You don't want to be introduced tonight. Well, we're not going to. Um, uh, Bob Wiseman is joining us tonight. Uh, uh, this is Don Kerr over here on cello and, and sundry. On the big giant bass, bigger than his normal rock bass, it's Tim Vesley. Uh, and right behind Tim are two of our friends from uh, Winnipeg, uh, Winnipeg's uh, very own Farm Fresh, Tyler Sneesby, really Tyler Sneesby, and Rod Bailey. And we'd like to thank Jake McDonald for reading uh, beforehand tonight. That was amazing. We're all going to his books. Also, Gary Stokes doing sound, and Carol Larson is doing your uh, your visual images behind behind this. And last night, uh, two of our friends surprised us. Two of our California friends uh, surprised us by showing up: Mike Moody and, and uh, Brian Peterson, and they stuck around for tonight too. So thanks for coming a long way. And any other out of towners here tonight? Yeah. Anybody from Calgary? <laughs> See, that's good. <laughs> I knew you'd make it. We're gonna do a song uh, that we uh, put out in 1991 on our Melville album, and we recorded for this CD, which is for sale outside if you'd like to buy it. And it's also in finer record stores too. Music inspired by the Group Seven, uh, and this is called Northern Wish. Martin, would you like to count it in?
light yellow, maybe a burnish gold, it may be uh, a plum color, it may be uh, uh, ruby, or it may be uh, maybe bluish or greenish. Well, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't mean that that color must take over over everything. No, but it oh, it's the it's the